Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone's doing great. Today I have for you a fun gingerbread girl yardstick door swag. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. For this DIY, you're going to need one yardstick and we cut ours to 25 inches and you could paint the yardstick if you would like. You're going to need a sign, and I ordered this gingerbread girl sign from Craft Outlet online, and it is metal. You're going to need some 10 inch deco mesh, and I believe I also ordered it online from Craft Outlet. You do not need the smaller mesh. I thought I was going to use it, but then I changed my mind. And you do not need any ribbon for this door swag. I know you're surprised because I love to add big bows to everything I make. You are also going to need some pipe cleaners. Now remember, we cut our yardstick to 25 inches. So now I'm going to take my pipe cleaners and I am going to move down two inches on the top of the yardstick. I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, wrap it around the yardstick, and twist it on the left side at the two inch mark. So give it a few twists and then press it down to the table on the left side. Take a second pipe cleaner, wrap it around your yardstick and twist it to the right side and then push it down to the table. Then you're going to take a third pipe cleaner, wrap it around your yardstick and you're going to twist it to the center and leave it pointed toward the ceiling. Now I'm going to move down to the eight inch mark on my yardstick. I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, twist one to the left, twist one to the right, and one to the ceiling. And I'm going to continue the same process all the way down the yardstick. So I placed four sets total on this yardstick. I placed the first set at the two inch mark, second set at the eight inch mark, third set at the 17 inch mark, and the last set at 23 inches. After you have your pipe cleaners added, you might want to go to the back of your yardstick, add a little bit of hot glue around the pipe cleaners to make sure they don't slide or move. Then you're going to take your 10 inch mesh, gather it together, and you're going to make a poof for the top. So slide your hand down it, gather it together, and we're going to go to the center top pipe cleaner first. So open up that pipe cleaner at the number two mark, Put your mesh in it and then twist the pipe cleaner around it a few times and then fluff your poof. Then slide your hand down about eight or nine inches, gather your mesh together, and we're going to go to the second pipe cleaner in the center, put your mesh in it, twist the pipe cleaner around it, 
Then for the next one, since it's a little bit longer space because I left room for this sign, you're going to probably go down about 13, 14 inches, maybe a little more, pinch it together, go to the pipe cleaner in the center, put your mesh in it, twist it around the mesh, and continue this same process all the way down, and then you'll want to make another poof to match the top one at the bottom. And you're going to do the same steps on the left side and the right side that you did in the center. I have had several people asking when I'm going to do my November 2022 giveaway. So here's the details about this month's giveaway. Today is November the 6th, 2022. So on Thanksgiving Day, I am going to draw one name. So there'll be one winner for a $25 Starbucks gift card. To enter my giveaway this month, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, like my videos, leave a comment, and in the comment, make sure you write the two words, November giveaway. You must be at least 18 years or older to enter a U.S. resident. This giveaway is not sponsored, endorsed, or affiliated with YouTube or anyone. I just wanted to do a little something to say thank you. If you share this tutorial, let me know because that gives you an extra entry into the November giveaway. Now I am starting to work on the top left side. So I made a poof about the same size as the one I made for the center. Now I'm going to the top left pipe cleaner, twisting it around the mesh. I'm going to twist that pipe cleaner several times and then place the pipe cleaner back on the left side. Fluff my poof. Now I'm going to slide down about eight or nine inches or so, gather my mesh together, go to the second pipe cleaner on the left side, open it up, put my mesh in it, and twist the pipe cleaner around the mesh. Now I'm going to continue this all the way down the left side, and then I'm going to do the same process on the right side. And it will take only one roll of this 10 inch mesh, and it's 10 yards on this roll. So we cut ours to 25 inches, so just remember that too. My yardstick only measures 25 inches.
on the bottom to make the last poof or puff. I've decided it's just easier to take a pipe cleaner and add that around the entire yardstick to secure the puffs. So that's something new I've been doing lately and it's just a little bit easier. So it does take almost one roll of the 10 inch mesh when you do it the way I did here. It turns out to be nice and full and fluffy and I have lots of yardstick door swag tutorials on my YouTube channel. These can also be used as a centerpiece or a garland. So there's lots of different ways that you can decorate these. So in the description box below, I am going to link my yardstick door swag centerpiece garland playlist for you. So if you've never seen me make a yardstick door swag, I have them for all seasons and holidays. They're so much fun to make. I make each one a little bit different, so I'm always changing up things. I also sometimes make them on five gallon paint stir sticks. I made one a few days ago, a little snowman one. So it's a clip of it is also in this video. So I'll link that tutorial for you in the description box too, because it is so simple to make. As you can see, this yardstick door swag is nice and full and fluffy with one roll of the 10 inch mesh. I will be adding the metal gingerbread girl sign to the center. It has a little clip on the back and then I'm also going to take some cable tie mounting clips to attach it to my door swag. And here's some beautiful flowers I picked up at Walmart. They're Mainstays brand and they're nice big bunches for I believe $3.47. So I'm placing one on the left, one on the right, overlapping the stems, going to zip tie them together to make a swag. Next, make sure you fluff and shape your flowers. Now, Walmart does have more flowers in. There's also some smaller bunches if you do not want this big of a bunch, or you could cut these bunches into smaller pieces. It's whatever you prefer. I'm just giving you some ideas. So I'm placing it right in the center, and I'm going to use some floral wire and wire it on. So just take your wire, thread it through your mesh on each side of the yardstick, then go the back of the yardstick, twist the wires and then cut them off short and fold them down. When I add the gingerbread curl sign, it will also help to hold the swag in place. So I'm just going to the back, giving the wires a few twists. Now when you get finished with your door swag, you can cover the back of the yardstick with a strip of felt. Also to hang it up, drill a hole in the top of the yardstick. And here I'm just adding a cable tie mount that I ordered on Amazon. Um, they just stick right on and then you can thread some wire or a pipe cleaner through that or a zip tie. But I like to add a little Gorilla Glue hot glue to it just to make sure it stays on. I also like these long pipe cleaners. They make it very easy to attach signs to your wreaths and door swags. First, I'm going to attach the top of the sign. So I'm just going to take my pipe cleaner and go where the, the um, pipe cleaners are twisted on the yardstick, wrap the sign pipe cleaners around the yardstick, go the back and give them a few twists. Now don't pull your sign down too tight on your wreath. Same steps for attaching the bottom of the sign. At the end of this video, I added some pictures of some of the other Christmas DIYs I have done so far this year. So I will link some of those in the description box for you too if you'd like to check them out because I made a really cute round gingerbread wreath when I did one for Christmas in July. So it turned out super cute too. So I'll add a picture of it in this video. If you've been following my channel for very long, y'all know that I love to add big bows to my wreaths, and I'm really surprised I didn't put a bow on the top and the bottom, but I decided to add some shatterproof Christmas ornaments. So I just hot glued one on the top, one on the bottom, and then I just made sure and fluffed my pretty flowers that I picked up at Walmart, made sure that everything was going in the right direction, and this is how it turned out. 
I hope you enjoyed watching me make this yarn stick door swag. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It does not cost anything to subscribe.